on the last day of summer, ten hours before fall, my grandfather took me out of the wall. For a while we stood silent and finally said with a very sad shake of his very old head. As you know, on this side of the wall, we are Yooks. On the far other side of this wall live the Zooks. And the things that you've heard about Zooks are all true. That terribly horrible thing that they do. And in every Zook house and in every Zook town, every Zook eats his bread <laughs> with the butter. Side down. We ukes, when we eat, when we breakfast or sup, we spread our bread right with the butter side up. Because, of course, you remember our bread spreading rule that you learned as a lad back in bread spreading school. On my honor as a uke youth, I do solemnly swear to spread up on top here and never down there. On my honor as, as a uke youth, youth I do solemnly swear to spread up on top here and never down there. That's the true honest way. And all honest folks know that you can't trust a zook who spreads bread down below. Every zook must be watched. He has kinks in his soul. That's why as a young man I made watching my goal. Watching zooks with a zook watching border patrol. With a song in my heart and a spring in my knee, with a glint in my eye and a hump to a free, I strided with pride along that wall, and I watched those zookers, one and all. And if they got fresh, I just gave them a twitch, with my tough, tufted prickly snickberry switch. For a while, that worked fine. All the zook stayed away, and our country was safe. Then, one terrible day, a very rude zook by the name of Anich snuck up and slingshotted my stickberry switch. <laughs> well, for our side, that aside, down. <laughs> Why, wow, those dirty upside down butterers, they can't do that to us. Why, well, I never saw anything so aggressively affrontable. It's worse than that, it's acrimonious. Zooks are impossible, and they get impossible and impossible and impossible every day. That's me. They get too big for their britches. With a broken off switch, with my head hung in shame, to the chief Yukaroo in great sorrow I came. But our leader just smiled. He said, Dear boy, you're not to blame. You simply have suffered a minor defeat. Because your snickberry switch is a bit obsolete. Their slingshot's more modern. What we need to get is a weapon that's even more modern yet. So I've ordered the boys in the back room to figure how to build you some such super booper sling jigger. <laughs>
with my triple sling jigger. I sure felt much bigger. I marched to the wall with my triple sling jigger. I marched to the wall with great vim and great vigor. Right up to Van Itch with my hand on the trigger. I'll have no more nonsense, I said with a frown. From zooks who eat bread with the butter side down. Van Itch looked quite sickly. He ran off quite quickly. I'm unhappy to say he came back the next day. Shoot if you must with your triple sling jigger. <laughs> but I also now have my hand on a trigger. My defensive weapon, the jigger rock snatch em. We'll fling em right back just as fast as we catch em. We'll take no more nonsense. We'll take no more gup from you yukes who eat bread with the butter side up. <laughs> I meet. Thwart it. Mission aborted. I have failed, sir, I sobbed as I made my report to the chief Yukaroo in the headquarters fort. <laughs> Not at all, my dear boy. Oh, you did fine, my dear boy. But a slingshot, oh, dear me, is an old-fashioned toy. All we need is a more modern kind of a gun. My boys in the back room have already begun to think up a walloping whiz-zinger of one. They thought up a great one. They certainly did. They thought up a gun called the Kickapoo Kid, which they loaded with powerful poor dew powder and axe eggs and bees legs and dried fried clam chowder. And they carefully trained a real smart dog named Daniel to serve as our country's first gun-toting spaniel. Then Daniel, the Kickapoo Spaniel, and I marched back toward the wall with our heads held up high. It's time that we bought them. Those monsters that dwell on the other side of the wall. They're fucking and freaky. They're being sneaky. They're rude and they're cruel. They're frightfully lewd. On the other side of the wall. It's time that we bash them. Would you do that? They're ugly and natural. I'm Captain Arthur. They're so weird. They're suspicious. They're obnoxious and ferocious. They're rotten, malicious. They're goose and ferocious. Repugnant, repulsive they are. They're refined. They're cruel. They're nutty. None of them are. All the things that they do. What the fuck they think? I never remember. What I hear today, stinky. On the other, other, other side, other side, that other side of the wall. Ready? Ready? Aim? Aim? <laughs> Shoot if you must with your wee tiny shooter. But the boys in my back room have rendered it neuter with this eight nozzled elephant toted boom blitz. It shoots high explosive sour cherry stone pits and will put your dumb kickapoo kid on the fritz. Poor Daniel and I were scared out of our wits. Once again by the Zooks, I was bested and beat. Once again I limped home from the wall in defeat. I was losing my gumption, losing my will. When the right side up song girls marched over the hill. Never give up, never tremble or flutter. Never sad, never drag, never stumble or stutter. Believe in yourself and the bread that you butter. Have 
that they 